Hello again, everyone. Um, I was thinking the other day, um, do I have a mission statement? Why am I doing these videos? Is there a, a purpose? Do I want to show techniques? Do I want to show products? Do I want to show layouts? I don't really know. And I think probably the best thing for me is just to do a mixture of all of them. Um, I say I don't really know why people want to see the videos that I do. I don't, I'm not quite sure what it is that, you know, kind of appeals to people. But um, anyway, today I just thought I would make a card. And this is a lovely little stamp. I believe it's um, Colorado Craft Company. It's of a little bear. He's holding a twig in this hand. He's holding a twig in this hand. And there's a bird in it. And the sentiment says, a partridge in a bear tree. And the humour of that just kind of tickled me. So what I thought I would do today is make a card with him. And often what we do is just do, do some stamping, either die cut it or just cut it into a, a square or whatever and plonk it on. But what I thought I would do this time is to... Is to recess the images frames on pictures are there for a purpose they're there to lead you into that picture to see it so i thought what i would do is i've got a, a card here i've got a front panel this is a, a five by seven and what i thought i would do is to stamp him color him and then make an aperture in this card for him to appear behind but I would use a second die to put an extra layer to kind of lead you in you know sometimes pictures are double mounted and I'd try and do the same thing for the sentiment so that the sentiment is recessed as well but I don't have um I don't have a die that would precisely fit this which makes it kind of tricky so what I'm going to try and do today is to um, reduce the size of this die. Well, not the die. I'm not going to reduce the size of the die. I want to reduce the size of the cut that it makes. And hopefully I'm going to do that with this little piece of low tack tape. What I've done is put this piece of low tack tape, which is not sticking incredibly well. Let me turn it around then, I should hold it. Um, that is the length of the opening that I want for this sentiment. So what I would do is kind of picture where my apertures are going to go. If I had that one there, this one would be kind of underneath about there so about like that this is one end of it you understand that's the other end so let me cut that one out first so i'll just position that a moment i'm hoping this is <laughs> going to work we'll see i'm going to put some tape on it just to hold it in place let's see Okay, is that central? Just a tad over, I believe. I think that looks all right. Okay, let me cut this out and then we'll have a go at the, at the sentiment aperture. Right. That's the aperture for the picture. Now I want to try and sort the aperture. I'm going to have to do this this way on. And of course, it's not going to fit in this machine, is it? Which is a bit of a nuisance. Can't do it in this machine. I'm going to have to use a bigger machine. Let me stop. I will go and get a bigger machine. 
Okay, I now have a bigger machine. This is my Big Shot Plus. It's been under my bed for a while because since I bought my Switch, um, I haven't used this as much. But because this is a, it's supposed to go on a five by seven. This is slightly smaller, obviously, because it's a panel. So I've put this die with that end where I need it to stop there and this end in the appropriate place on the other end. What I'm going to do is to roll this through and stop about here and then come back because then I will turn this around and we will do the other end. Let's just see. This is so bowed. I just haven't used it for so long. Let's just see if we're going to be Okay, just get it as straight, it's not quite straight. Okay, here we go. Rolling through, and I'm going to stop and come back. Now this will have cut just part way. So let's take a look. There, do you see it's cut part way? So now what I want to do is turn it round the other way. I'm going to match this end here with where it finished there. Like that. Make sure that those are in the grooves. And I might, I thought I might even put a bit more tape on, but I think we might be all right. And I'm going to go back this way and I'm going to stop again part way through. And I'm coming back. So now I should have my aperture in the right position and there it is. Midway underneath there. Okay the big shot's gone away. Um, I have got the aperture where my sentiment will show through. I've got the aperture where my bear will show through but I want to make another little um, frame to go within this just to take your eye down a bit further so I'm going to use that's the one I used for there so I'm going to use the next size smaller and just cut another piece of card to do that with so I'll take a chunk off one of these pieces here it's got to be bigger than that to sit behind it Okay, let's use that bit. And I'll just cut, if I can pick it up, another one of these. And that can sit behind the other. There's my top plate, here it is. I have to say it's much more comfortable with a small um, cutter on my desk. Right. That other one, it used to live on the the cutting table behind me but um, <laughs> it got relegated when I had something to take the, the pressure off my shoulders and stuff I had a lot of, of cutting to do. So this one is going to go behind there and it's just that bit smaller so that it'll again take your eye into the the picture. So look I've got my things done I can now use this one um, if I can get the position how I want it um, for my bear because the edge of this will be behind the edge of that one all right let's just see let's see how I how I do perhaps I'll do this in the, on a stamping platform let me get one there it is And I think I may put a sticky mat on here just to keep it because it's a small piece of small piece of um, card. Just pop that on there. Put this on my sticky mat.
I'll just keep this down, I think, just to make sure it doesn't move. Put him in the middle. I think he should be okay. What I'm going to do with him today is... Oh, he's not sticking on the sticky mat, is he? Need a new sticky mat. I can revitalise my sticky mat with this stuff. Stick and spray. It's a, a repositionable um, spray uh, adhesive so that if this gets too untacky, I can give it a squirt with this and it will revitalise it. Okay, so I think with that, let me just get a... Which ink shall I use? I think I'll use my Versafine. Oh, his nose looks like he's got like stripy bits down. I don't know whether that's anything or nothing. Let's have a look. Leave it a moment. Let's just hope. It's actually not bad. I think I'll give it one more. It's that side that needs a bit more. Let's see. Okay. This side. That's lovely. That will do nicely. Now what I'm going to do very quickly is pop it into some clear embossing powder so that it will give an extra little border, make it easier for colouring. It gives you a bit of a, an edge to butt up against when you're doing colouring. So I'll just give this a quick whiz. He's quite the sweetie, isn't he? Let's pop this away for a moment. Let's give that a quick wipe. Give him a proper clean later. There we are. Now, we also need to do the sentiment. I'll try doing this with um, just stamping. See how we go. I'm going to do the same with this. And in, oh, I've got a bit of a die cut there. I'm going to put some um, embossing powder on this as well. So that's, I've got a slightly juicier stamp. Let's try this chap. Oh that looks juicier. Let's try this. I don't want to squish too hard and make it you know, spl splurged out, but, oh, that's lovely. Lovely. Pop it into the embossing powder. There we are. And whiz. Embossing often makes things look very much more sort of vital somehow. Right, now we'll do a drop of colouring. And for the bear, I think we will have a kind of a brown bear, don't you think? We can have a brown bear with a maybe a paler coloured tummy. Let's have a look at these. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a rabbit looking at me or something. I can't remember how it goes now. What shall we have? Hazelnut truffle and avec sushi. Sandcastle. That sounds cool, doesn't it? Let's have a go. Let's have a little go at this chap. Okay. Do 
just a little bit of shading. Under his arm, under his chin, under his nose. I think his nose needs to be a bit blacker actually. I might have to give that a little bit of a little bit of help. Okay. Let's try the next one. This one is hazelnut truffle. And the next colour. I don't think I want them to be a bit darker than this. What's this one like? I just need a bit of the same card. Oh, that's a different card. This is the same. That's better. Yeah, that's better. So what was I using? Sandcastle. We put might use that for his tummy. Let's just carry on and do this. need to blend the colours together. I use this as a shading for the top of his nose his tummy. I think I just darken his nose. Needed just a touch of pink for his tongue. Right, now we'll do the trees. Green for the little. What colour are partridges? I wonder. Anybody know what colour partridges are? I've got no idea. Absolutely no idea. Oops, wrong end. more like a holly tree to me but it is he's a bear tree after all let's 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 use a grayish part i don't know what to, i really don't know what color part it is we'll have a grayish blue i think make him look pretty anyway shall we There he is. 
there's our partridge in our bear tree. So now all we have to do is I could actually, if I wanted to, just um, use this one and have a bit of colour behind there. Perhaps the green or the... I think we will have a bit of colour. What shall we have? I think we might have more of the brown, actually. More of the brown. Let's just do this dark brown. But no, that was the one I used for the, was it? Vintage walnut. And rich walnut, I have the vintage. Couldn't remember which one I used. There we go, nearly done. Okay, oops. Found the lid. Now comes the time for the foam tape. Let's just organize ourselves. Do I want that recessed? Or that up? I think I'll put that next to this. I won't recess this. Put it right next to the Okay. There we go. Now comes the foam tape. Be surprising how quickly this roll will go down. That's that done. Now we need to get him behind there. So we'll take this off. It's just to make a change really, rather than having just, you know, squares or whatever stuck on top at the front, just to you know, take your eye in, have it a little bit different. Let's just see where we're going to put him. I think he'll go there. There we go. Oh, what a palaver. And we're done. That's got to go on there. Oh, I hope you stuck with it, I have to say. You, you must have stamina if you did, because I think that's, you know, absolute marathon. So thank you very much if you managed to get through right to the end. I'll try and uh, I hope I'll be able to whiz up the bits that are slow so that uh, you, you don't drop off part way through. But uh, I do appreciate you coming. And if there's anything you'd like me to do, just drop me a comment delighted to try and help. So there's a different layout for you today. Yeah, I think we've got it. Oh, what a, <laughs> what a job. 
as ever, thank you so much for watching.